Hey guys, it's Red School here. There are some items you're going to need for the Wilderness Medium tasks. Uh, those are the Dragon Stone, a vial of water, around 100k, and I suggest you'd always carry around the Wilderness Weapon 1 for the teleport to the Bloodweed farming patch, as well as Edgeville. For this part, you need to be scold, so once you scold at Mr. X, just run up to the Rogue's base over here. There will be a shop person who sells bloodweed seed. So when you first trade them, you'll um, you'll finish a task. Uh, I suggest you make the pizza this pizza first before buying the seed. That way you don't get PK'd and lose the seed. Anyhow, you buy the pizza base, you pick up the cheese and tomato on the table, and then you run over to the fishing spot to the east of Tony's house to get the anchovies. Use the pizza base on the tomatoes, and then use the pizza base on the cheese to make a uncooked pizza. Then cook the pizza, and then cook the anchovies, and then use the anchovies on the pizza to have an anchovy pizza. Use the anchovy pizza on Fat Tony to complete the task. So, once you have the bloodweed seed, run a bit south into around 20, uh, level 20 wilderness and then teleport to the bloodweed farming patch with the wilderness sword. You're going to want to plant the bloodweed seed <laughs> at the patch, of course. If you, had ra if you have the Siren spell rapid growth, I suggest you use it as you will be able to get the herb a bit quicker than usual. However, I had already used mine. So, once you plant it, go run north and a bit east to find this gate that you'll have to go through, which will then lead you to the mage arena. So, once you're over at the mage arena, you're going to have to cut both webs and then enter by pulling the lever. Once you're inside, step into the sparkling pool and into this next area where you're going to have to buy a staff from this NPC guy over here. He sells god staffs. They're about 48k. Or are they? No, wait, they're 60k. You can out them. You can high out them for 48k. Anyways, so once you've got that, just go back through the sparkling pool, bank that staff. You're going to need nothing for this part, however, you might as well bring like the lockpick you're going to need, you're going to need a rope, you're going to need a net later, you're going to need a muddy key, they're about 5k in GE, or you can kill a chaos dwarf for them. So go to the agility training area and go through the gate. You'll do this little thing where you just cross over. Yeah. Alright, so once you've crossed, just go do a lap of agility. That's all you need to do for this task. It's pretty simple. So once you're done, just exit through this way. Head back to the mage arena where you can bank if you do not have everything, anything on you, because you'll be needing a lockpick now for this part. I realized I did not have a lockpick, so I had to get one. So, head east over here to this place with the enchanted axes. Lockpick the gate, and then check for traps on the chest. Once you successfully loot the chest, you'll finish this task. Just exit right through the door after you're done, and then head towards the rogue's castle for the next task. So once you're in the rogue's castle, just pickpocket any guy, any rogue, and you'll finish the task. Once you're done with this, we're going to now go uh, west 
towards the gate where we went through to get up to this part of the wilderness. We're then going to go to the lava maze, which is on the west side of the wilderness. So you're just going to completely run across over here. There's a banker over here where you're going to need your muddy key. So if you don't have it, you want to get it right here. So if you've banked here and you've got your muddy key, head over to the south side where the entrance is. You're going to want to slash the web and then just go right through, stay on the top path wherever I'm going, slash the other web on the far east side, and go up and around, and then just use the muddy key on the chest. And that will finish that task. In order to get out, you just go out the way you came. Just the same path as before. To leave this ordinance, you can either just run over to Edgeville. I decided to bank my stuff instead. And then try to go into the uh, KBD instance and teleport out that way. ended up spawning a bit quicker than I wanted and so right when I was about to get out he came and I killed me. So after you spawn in Edgeville, uh, just run over to the east and hop the wall and then go back to where the lovers were in my first video. Head north of there over to the Black Salamanders they're across a lava river from the boneyard. So, with your rope and small net, you just set that trap, wait a while, catch a salamander, teleport right back to Edgeville. Once you're back in Edgeville, head over towards the bridge to the east of Edgeville. Chop that tree at the walk station, canoe station, whatever it's called. Make a walk up. And then embark on it and go into the wilderness. And there's the end of that task. There's only one task left. So, get back to Edgeville somehow. I use the obelisk. So for this part you need a, a, a dragon stone, empty vial, and your Lordness Sword 1. Teleport to your herb patch in the wilderness. Get your herb. Clean it. Use it on the vial. Craft your dragon stone and then cr uh, crush or grind your gr dragon stone and then use it on the vial and there you've done all the tasks somehow go back to Edgeville I use the obelisks and then I teleport to Edgeville talk to Mandrith who's in the Edgeville bank and then ask, uh, ask him about the task system and then ask about rewards. He'll give you two lamps that give 40k each to any skill. The Wardness Sword will also be upgraded to the Wardness Sword 2, which will have all the previous benefits of the easy tasks. It will also give 5% more XP per lap at the Wardness Agility course if you have it equipped. Improved pickpocketing rates against rogues in the Wardness and a new teleport on the sword to the Frenity Dungeon. So thank you for watching, and uh, sub please.